Take us back to when you were introduced the first time to gambling. Well, it wasn't really till I got to college. So you get a Pell Grant, you get 2500 here, 1000 there, and then all of the football players, all the basketball players would gather in the dorm rooms. And usually the gambling didn't end until somebody won all the money. And then you declared for the NBA draft. You throw more pressure, and then you throw all this money at a kid that is still a kid. I would earn a living playing basketball, and then the summer came. Before the end of the summer, I would lose pretty much either half or three quarters of what I'd earn, train hard, hard again, get a job, and then the same cycle over and over again. So that's pretty much was my NBA career. What was it like for you when you look back at that time? Um, what are your feelings around then? Once it clicked with me, and I understood that there's a problem, immediately we started engaging in conversation about what can we do? What can we do to, to get better? I had started going back. I had spent some time away and then I just started going back to the casino and I hit, I would guess the most rock bottom as you can hit. And then I see the sign 1-800-GAMBLER if you have a problem. And so then when I get home, I think I opened up and told her, and then we used the number. 